Yes, sir. Got a hot cup of coffee sitting over here. <clears throat> it's like espresso strong. Good stuff. Yeah, absolutely. How'd you sleep back here last night? It was good. I had a little uh, condensation dripping off the top, but other than that, it was good. I like your little setup back here. Carpeted. Yeah, a little messy right now. System. Got the TP already ready to go. Yep. Laid out. Man, is is ready to do business. I really couldn't sleep. I was pretty excited. I got <laughs> I got awesome. up. I got up at five, and uh, the stars were just bright. Yeah, beautiful. It's gotten foggy though. Well, something's going down today, so your excitement won't go to waste. Good deal. Clear night last night. There's zero wind, and we are going to go to that ground blind that I've been seeing all these hogs at. The only thing is, in the last since the last video I did, some really nice bucks have showed up. There's a there's an old old eight point. I mean, just big girthy. Looks like a bulldog for out here in Central Texas. Uh, and then there's an older seven point that I'm pretty sure that I saw once on a trail cam year previous, and he was old and big and never saw him in real life. <clears throat> but it looks like he's gone downhill. He's kind of reaching the end of his tenure. And then there's another just like slick no brow um, six point that's in there. That's that's a great call. So we are going to try to go after one of those coal bucks or um, get one of these pigs that have been just coming in. Either way, it's going to be a good day in the outdoors with, with dear old dad. So let's get out there and have a good time, y'all. Enjoy the show.
spooky. There's another one's ball coming in. Here we go. It's that same bug. We're running next to a rock quarry today, so it's pretty loud. But it gives us a little sound. Well, we were able to get one to come out and look a little bit with some rattling, but they're not in that super aggressive mode, it seems. It's unseasonably warm right now for December, so we are just, we're gonna be dealing with some heat. We're gonna head back in, get some breakfast, and get ready for round two. Did you have fun this morning, Dan? I did. I like the 10 point buck that was 20 yards away. And I love seeing the river. God, it's beautiful down there. It's good. It's good morning. Can't complain. We come back to camp, we've regrouped, uh, gave dad a tour of the place. And uh, we're gonna go back out here in about an hour. We're gonna sit in the same spot because there's three cull bucks that are coming there. I think our odds are pretty good. It is hotter than Hades though. And just to add, you know, warmth to the soul out here. I'm gonna try something new. Haven't done this at deer camp yet. Tried, uh, tried doing a duck stew last time, loved it, but I've never just sat a stew on the fire all day. So uh, just built a little cowboy campfire right here um, over some coals, just some wood we went and uh, Sawed down some wood today, an old dead tree. Got one of these these cans, a big can pot, sitting right here, and we're gonna leave this sitting over the fire. And I've got some venison that is cooking up, just braising it in a pan right now, and I've got potatoes and beans and rice and uh, a bunch of other good stuff in there. Some turkey stock from Thanksgiving, just you know, kind of a gumbo, venison gumbo stew that we're gonna have tonight when we get in. Should be nice, hopefully post a post-harvest meal that is going to be fantastic. Yes, sir. Got a little braised venison. I put it in manly chunks just for you, Dad. All right. Big old chunks. This isn't going to be skimpy Campbell's right here. Take this off. Ooh, look at that steam coming out. Yeah, boy. Deer camp isn't just about harvesting whitetails. It's about enjoying good company in the outdoors. And this is the best way to enjoy company in the outdoors. Have a good meal around a campfire. There's a little hole in the top of this pot. It lets that steam come out. It's hot enough right now. And we're going to let the coals burn down. I'll stick it directly beside the coals when we go to hunt. Dad, what did you think about being that close to whitetails this morning? Well, you know, I, it, we were so close I could smell it. You know, I've never been 15, 20 yards from one. And to see them that close, eye level, is mm -hmm. incredible. It really is. I've only killed one in my life, and that was last year. It was very special. That's and a trophy. It is. And that's a really good. That's a really good point there, Pop. A trophy is really just whatever is, in my mind, is great in the moment to you. Right. 
you know, it doesn't have to be a, a huge deer. You could shoot a, a six point deer, but if it comes in close to you, it's awesome. You, you get your heart pumping and feels awesome, you know, hey, that's a, that's a trophy. It's, it's whatever really gets you excited and you're gonna remember it for the rest of your life. So that's really what a trophy is. Same thing in fishing, you know. Yeah, a five pounder is pretty much a trophy for me, but not so much for you, you know. Yeah, some people would say, oh, a five pounder is gigantic. Some people would say, oh, you know, I catch five pounders all the time. It's all about perspective. Just don't call my deer a cold deer. You got it.
shall try again tomorrow. Fingers crossed. Dad, we didn't get one. <clears throat> no, we didn't. But you know, the best thing about not getting a deer at deer camp is what's that? You don't have to clean it and you can sit around and drink. <laughs> oh my gosh, look at that. Isn't that pretty? Look, there's no lights over here. It's something to behold, man. As far as you can see, no lights over here. That is beautiful. Let's see what we got, man. A lot of meat chunks down there at the bottom of the field. That was our contribution to deer camp today. We're gonna switch things up tomorrow, play the wind. Um, the wind absolutely kills hunts if you don't have your wind right. Basically all that means is you don't want the wind pushing your scent towards the animal. So just have to think about that. Look at the weather the night before and look at the wind. I hope it's gonna happen. So we're going to a new stand today, and here's the deal. If, uh, if a trophy comes out, there's a couple in particular I'm thinking, um, I'm just gonna let my dad take it. And honestly, it really makes me happy just going out with my family members and uh, getting them on a deer. As a family, we still get to eat the meat together, so it's incredible. This is the blind that my dad got a seven point last year. And this is above where, um, I essentially backstrap shot my deer. It's about 150 yards apart. One is down in a gully, the other one's on top of the hill. We're going to the one on top of the hill. So we've actually seen some of the same deer going back and forth. It's a 50-50 shot that we'll see this deer that I saw the first night out here. Um, I was scouting that deer for Mike. Uh, I was looking for a trophy buck for, for Mullet Man. But anyway, he, he had to leave, he's gone, so it's, uh, it's open game right now. And we are taking my undefeated rifle, y'all. Uh, my brace built 308, a little change of luck. This rifle has just got the mojo, so we're, we're bringing it in to take care of business. So let's get loaded up. Let's head in there. Let's get a deer down. We've got about 30 minutes until the sun really comes up, but I promise you there's some deer around us. Oh, they're awesome. They're running crazy. these things before the feeder goes off and then hope that you know more deer come in they're so fast oh yeah they're quick go ahead and just get get the rifle up and kind of get comfortable there's that little buck that kenny's in the back right now but let me take one just one of these on the left over here by this bush. They're under that bush feeding. You don't to take off. Yeah, I'm just aim at that biggest one and just pop him before that feeder goes off. Straight on the shoulder. Yeah. Like directly on the shoulder. Their vitals are forward than a deer. I'm good if you're good. One, two, three. Got him. He's going down. Good job. Good job. All right. 
That's good. I think you injured another one. There were two of them right there. Yeah. All right, now we're deer hunting. <laughs> good job. <laughs> we got bacon on the ground. <laughs> it was hard to figure out which one to get. I know. They, they move like... I've never seen hogs like that. That's good. So the, it's 7 o'clock. The feeder's about to go off. We got a pit. We got a big down. Great shot. Yeah, thank you. Put it right on the shoulder. So it's undefeated. It's undefeated still. <laughs> you know what's funny is I've never shot this gun. I've never looked through the scope. It's pretty smooth, right? It is sweet. <laughs> it is not like the 30 on 6. Oh, no. It, it's not a cannon. No, it's just... Another buck. It's four bucks. Oh, <laughs> wow. Look at that. I've never seen four bucks. That's awesome. There might be a call in here somewhere. That very last one is in the stone. That is crazy. He just now discovered it. He was hungry. Oh yeah, absolutely. It's just so cool to see how they interact. 
just like that. They're gone. I, I thought we were going to get a chance at this big boar. I knew he was probably going to scare the deer off, but I was telling Dad to get ready because I didn't know how he was going to react to the smell of another hog and then seeing it. So, uh, I don't know if he got our smell or the smell of hog blood or something. Their nose is incredible. Um, as soon as he came in, threw his head up, sniffed, and uh, he smelled something he didn't like. Took off, and the deer got kind of sketchy, and they took off. That was awesome. That was, was awesome crazy. Morning. It was a great morning. It really was. I would have liked to shot that big, big. He was big. I know, a big boar. Let's go take a look at your pig. Yeah, down here. Yeah, let's go. No tracking necessary. Yep, he, uh, he did a little spin and then he rested. You know, that was it. Knocked the poo out of him. Told you I thought I got a good shot. He made a perfect shot. Yep. Right where it needed to be. So, yeah, vitals on a, on a pig are, are up here more. Pretty much past here, you're in guts. So, you want to shoot them just directly on that shoulder. Get a sow, so you could eat her. Oh, good. All right, Dad, got a couple picks. The 308 sleeper, still undefeated. Ah. One shot, one kill. Nicely done, ah. and I actually, I think you clipped another one. I saw it kind of gimping off there, so oh, yeah. that's good. Two for one special on the hog game. I feel good that we helped the deer out today. Yeah. Helped the whitetail. Yeah, it was cool. We, when the hogs came in, they're all deer scattered. We shot the hog, and then 20 minutes later, the deer came back. So beautiful. Yep. All right, we'll get that one loaded up. Put it on the skinny rack. Most of that corn's gone. All right. Well, pop. Yeah, we didn't get a buck, but we got a big old hog. Got a big one. Could have shot a really big one. I was fully expecting us to get overrun with hogs like that first day and it just didn't happen and I was like all right it's meant to be these bucks are gonna come in it's gonna be calm and then our final day they finally came in had to put them down what an amazing sit though yeah been able to watch those hogs come in we got one down and then we watched a handful of bucks literally a handful come in just wasn't the ones that I had had hoped for you still got a little time where we can come back and get one, but good news is the Rackley family cooler at home yes. is, is full. Folks don't know this, but I actually keep both of my meat freezers at your house. Yeah, we live, live a mile apart from each other, so I go to the Rackley family grocery store to pick up my meat. I get a, a garage full of uh, nice venison and elk and hog and whatever else, fish. You know, LFG is really, really an outstanding son. Uh, and I, I get to be a part of it, all right? I just get to be a little small piece of it. People are always saying, I want to see more videos with LFD. So well, we well, don't I'm, do it enough, but at least we got to. Yeah, when I'm at work time. and you call me and say, hey, can you do this? And sometimes I can say yes. Ask for forgiveness. Yeah. There's no better therapy than the great outdoors. Father, son times, uh, always got to smash the like button for that. I think I might stay out here I've got a, hopefully a, a new surprise coming for the next video that we're gonna be filming. So, always good. Yes, sir. Quality yes. time yeah. in the outdoors. Most bucks I've ever seen in one city. Yeah, we got to see some other really cool stuff too. Some cool bucks, got to see does fighting as well. Found some arrowheads. Found some arrowheads, there's good times in the great outdoors. So we're gonna sign it off right here, guys, and stay tuned for more outdoor action. We'll see y'all in the next one.